Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do exercise 3 for surface modeling and it's going to be of this spoon over here. So let's get into this. We're going to start off by creating our part. And I'm going to call the surface exercise 3. Um, and I want to start off by doing a sketch. I want to choose this plane. Now we're going to draw a line. I want to convert this line into construction line. Now we're going to do an arc. There we go. Let's just erase this this the dimension because we don't really need it since we are going to create a tangent. All right. This is going to be forty-five radius, and I'm going to say that this arc and this arc are tangent. Okay, good. Okay, so let's exit our sketch. Let's create another sketch on this plane over here. And we're gonna use the spline. some dimensions here. I'm going to say this is 8. I want to say that this is going to be 4. Okay. A bit of a curvature here. that let's create another spline from here to here so this is it's gonna be ninety. say that this and this is tangent Trying to find there we go. All right, so now we are going to mirror. And let's exit our sketch. All right, so now next step is gonna we are going to extrude this. We're going to extrude the first sketch, all right? More or less, more or less about there. We're going to go to wireframe and to project our sketch. To here. I'm going to delete.
and blank our sketches and see our projection. more or less what we're looking for All right now we're going to add a few more sketches uh, sorry dot dot and plane so i'm going to choose this hold on a sec this plane and offset by 22.5 let's offset another one but this time I had the too many dots and planes. There we go. Let's do dots and plane again. From here, and now we're gonna say it's gonna be 50. And the last one we are going to say it's gonna go to this edge over here. Orientation, I wanna say 90. Okay. Now we are going to use these dots and planes to create some more sketches. So right click, sketch, and we'll choose this face. That plane, I mean. Now in the sketch, you're gonna choose reference. You choose intersection reference, okay? And I'm gonna say here and here. Now I'm going to choose an arc. Okay, an arc. I want to give this arc a radius of 22. Let's exit and repeat the procedure again. I'm going to choose this face. Let's just say here and here. Arc. I'm going to say this is 20. Again, reference, here and here, arc, and again, I'm going to refer to this as 20 radius. Let's exit. And finally, this end over here. You don't need an F and an, a reference since it's at the extreme at the point of the line, so it's not necessary. And I want to say that here it's going to be 25 radius. All right, get good, good. Now that we have our sketches, we go to freeform and we're going to choose curve mesh. So we're going to do the first the U curves. All right, so we're going to select our U-curves, which is going to be this one, this one, and this one. And next, we're going to choose our V-curves, which is going to be this one and that one. All right, now you can see that the surface takes its shape. All right, there we have it. Now we're going to repeat the same thing to this end of the spoon. Curve, curve a mesh, curve segments. I'm gonna choose this edge over here, this sketch over here, V curves, this one, and this one, and there we have it. Okay, go to sew, and let's sew our surfaces together. There we go. So we're going to have one whole surface. And we are going to give this a thickness. There we go. Thicken. Choose this. I'm going to say it's 0 0.75. Yeah, that's what I want. 0 0.75. Click OK. And yeah, there we have it, guys. Our spoon's almost done. I'm just going to add fill it maybe to this edge to round it off I'm gonna say it's we'll leave it at three three looks okay all right so 
So you can also go to visualization, you know, add some texture to this. Say the steel, I'll choose all this. All right, however, I would recommend using, if you want to make it really photorealistic and realistic, using a rendering software like KeyShot, which will uh, really make it look like the real thing. All right, guys, and that is our spoon. That's the exercise for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching once again, and until next time.